Hey guys, it is already 5.30. It's time for me to prepare our dinner. Well, this is just a very typical day and um, very typical preparation of our dinner. But I think um, this is kind of funny, especially for those Filipina or foreign wives who marry a foreigner, especially here in America. Well, what about um, your relationship with your mother-in-law, let's say? Mm. I had a very good impression about my mother-in-law. Um, as a foreign wife, you, you, you really try to impress your, you know, especially your mother-in-law. Okay, let's get it straight. Now I'm preparing our dinner. Basically, I am preparing just a fried chicken today. Kind of comfort food for my husband. But not just only a fried chicken, guys. You know, I learned something from my mother-in-law. And he gave me just only one rule every time I visit her house and prepare something. Especially fried chicken. It's a big deal in that state. Especially in our house. Guys. This is flour. We use flour when we fry chicken, don't we? Yes, very simple flour. And I already dried up my chicken and I'm gonna coat it with this flour. But guys, introducing, the flour I'm using is where my husband is from. Ta-da! Yes, guys, this is the rule my mother-in-law just imposed to me. Pinky, you only use this flour. And by the time she told me that, I was really confused. And I said, no way. I have a very delicious flour and fried chicken. I can make a really yummy fried chicken. I put a lot of spices in it. A lot like maybe at least four but with this one guys I should not mess up yes a mirror Kentucky boy hmm so in Kentucky they only have this flower I didn't know in other states but my husband mentioned to me that this is just only exclusive in Kentucky is it true so what about in Texas do you guys have this kind of season or this kind of flower in Texas, in San Francisco, wherever you are. So, only this, guys. Now that I'm using this, I already stopped putting some other spices. One time, I attempted to do that. But guess what? My mother-in-law detected it. She figured out that I messed up with her fried chicken. And she asked me, Pinky, did you use... The Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour. <laughs> Guys, so let me start now um, coating my chicken, okay? Hey guys, so I'm done with my coating. Again, we're just Kentucky Colonel. Let's get started. Frying. Guys, so this is my fried chicken. I'm done and I'm done and I'm done. So I am promoting this Kentucky Colonel KFC. I love this flower. This is the rule of my mother in law. Guys, Filipino wife abroad, and we are here again today to give you another new wine. This is what you call Matwa. Guys, we are very hungry, so let's make this quick, okay? So Matwa is from New Zealand, and this wine is a kind of Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. It's a white wine, so let's try this, guys. We're gonna give this to Chris for him to open because we need to drink this now, okay? So Chris, while you are opening it, could you please tell us what Matwa is? Yeah, so this is a New Zealand wine. And New Zealand is famous for their Pinots and their Cabernon, uh, their uh, Sauvignon Blancs. So super famous um, around the world, highly prized. So one of my favorites. And what you're going to find is it's going to be sweet to the taste. Not as sweet as a Riesling, but pretty sweet. It is uh, pretty yummy 
all in all. So I think Pinky's really going to like it. But oh. the New Zealand wines, if you ever get a chance to go, the vineyards are outstanding. The selections are great. The Marlboro Valley is second to none. It's on par with Napa Valley or anything you're going to find in Europe. So, and people from New Zealand are not called New Zealanders. They're Kiwis. <laughs> Okay. Kiwis. So, um, kiwis. Okay, kiwis. Yeah, so this type of wine, the better bottles do have screwed on caps, so don't expect a cork, and it's a superior sealing method. For oh, that's this easy to open. It's super easy. All right. This pear, it's sweet. It'll grow great with the fried chicken that uh, that we're about to have. Oops. Yes, don't ever forget this, guys. It's Kentucky Fried Chicken. So let's make this quick, guys. First is... Oops. Since there is, let's go to the next step, which is let's sniff it and smell it. My first impression, guys, is really good. For me, it's not really that special smell. It has really no impact on me. Let's taste it. I think this is really good if it is really cold pleasant yeah i think it'll really go well with our fried chicken right now guys i can't wait um yeah so let's wait for chris's validation for what i said okay so in the spirit of honesty i have had this wine before and i have had this wine in new zealand i actually brought a couple of bottles home from the new zealand airport it was on sale um so i know what i'm about to drink Ah, so how was my observation? Your observation was good. It's a it's a semi sweet wine. Um, it's more like a Pinot Grigio, somewhat than a than a Riesling. Although they're quite yummy, and it's great cold on a hot summer day when it's raining outside. Oh uh, yeah, it's raining outside, guys, right now. And that just gonna pair perfectly with the fried chicken. You know. Don't ever forget Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay. I mean, you could drink this just like water. I mean, it's really smooth and... You know, sweet. I, it's, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah. So it's not like a dessert. But it, it's wonderful to have with the meal. I like it. I think I'm ready. To, this is a good dinner wine. By the way, it's not dry. It's not dry at all. So I choose charming? Well, you got to rate. All right. Okay, you're first. Oh, I'm not a huge Cavignon, I mean a huge Sauvignon Blanc fan. Um, I like them. But for what the meal is tonight and what we were doing, this is the perfect match. With the right fried chicken, I'd give this about a about a six, six and a half, seven. It, it's going to work well with the fried chicken. I wouldn't drink it just to be drinking it, but I'd drink it with fried chicken any day of the week. All right, so, so there you are. It, it feels and it tastes simple. Well, take a piece, take a bite of fried chicken and then give me a rating. Take a bite of fried chicken, then take a sip and then give me a rating. It it's, remain, you know? it's not gonna, it's gonna complement the fried chicken. It's not okay, gonna overpower. Sure. But take a bite of the fried chicken and then take a drink and tell right. me how they pair. Let me have a bite first. Mmm. <laughs> mm. My fried chicken is really yummy. So I understand my mother-in-law. I'm gonna buy a hundreds of this when I go back to the Philippines and give it to my relatives. Okay. Mm. Really yummy. It's not competing with the wine you just drank, if you noticed. Just, it feels like co cola. I mean cola. No special flavor, but they compliment. You're right. Have a bite again. I think I'm enjoying the chicken than this. They go together. Designed to enhance the experience, Pinky. Guys, as you drink this more and more, you can taste, the taste is getting better. I think maybe because you eat like the chicken. I, I, like need, a, I need a rating. Without the chicken, I can give this maybe um, six. With a chicken, I'm giving this like, yeah, 6.5 to 7, but never be 7. But you Am can, I tough? You're tough. Oh, suddenly I got a little tipsy, but there I like go. it. 
thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe and of course just turn on the bell there so every time we get a new one we can notify you and please uh we really appreciate that you're watching our wine tasting series and please don't forget to like and goodbye and have a nice day Great.